All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome in. So it's absolutely crazy that I can sit here right now uh, a little over two weeks into October and the Jets are o not only just over 500, but they are two wins above 500. This team's coming off an absolute beatdown up in Green Bay, 27-10, where the Jets defeated the Vegas favorite uh, by, I believe, seven or seven and a half points, Packers. That was a huge, huge win. I could not sleep. I, I Last night, I could hardly sleep. I was just, you know, thinking about Sauce Gardner and Quinn Williams. It was just an awesome game, okay? Before that, 40 points. The Jets hung 40 points on the division rival Dolphins. Granted, Bridgewater, backup quarterback, knocked out in the first play of the game. Dolphins were forced to start a seventh-round uh, rookie quarterback, so... You know, I, I do understand it if you want to say, hey, you know what? The Jets caught a break there. They should have won that game pretty handily. Granted, you know, that that's I, I completely get that. But rewind even further, Pittsburgh, right? To go to Pittsburgh and win there, uh, I don't care who it is, right? Trubisky, Kenny Pickett, doesn't matter. I, th that's a tough place to play. Look at Tampa Bay. They just lost to Pittsburgh. So I'm not just sweeping that win under the rug. And then the Cleveland Browns game. And look, I've had a bunch of, you know, my buddies and stuff like that who aren't Jets fans hit me up and say, good win, congrats. But, um, you know, winning like that is not sustainable. Being down by multiple scores with, what, a minute, 45 seconds left and having this crazy comeback and Cleveland's blowing, uh, you know, their, their coverage in the back end. I get that, but right now, man, the Jets are 4-2. and two. Again, a couple weeks into October here, and it feels so good. And in this one, I wanted to ask the question, right? A big question here. I don't want to get too ahead of myself. We're only six weeks into the season. But look, is it realistic to say that this Jets team can make the playoffs? I would say right now the answer is yes. Okay, again, six weeks into the season, maybe I'm overreacting, but... When I look at the table, right, the the standings in the AFC, there's a bunch of teams that I felt like had a ton of hype this offseason. I, I feel like the average fan would assume that some of these teams would get a lot better, uh, but it just hasn't really worked out that way. Uh, I mean, we can look right off the bat at the 1-4 Raiders. I mean, that roster is stacked. They go out and they add Josh McDaniels, <laughs> Devontae Adams, bring in Chandler Jones. They're 1-4 right now. You know, again, it's so early in the season, things could change. I'm not writing them off or anything like that. But when we just look at the first, you know, couple games here, there are teams that have definitely disappointed so far. We can look at the three, two, and one Colts, the two and four Browns, three and three Bengals. Uh, who else? Well, you know, I'm, I don't want to jinx anything here. Let me knock on wood. But the two and four Broncos, I mean, man, they, they go out, they had Russell Wilson. And I mean, the team won a, a solid amount of games last year. You go out and add Russell Wilson, and this team just looks, you know, complete. They look completely different, especially offensively. It's just like pulling teeth trying to score touchdowns. It's crazy to watch. Now the Jets are playing playing them this weekend. I'm hoping the Broncos' uh, struggles continue, right? Obviously, um, but with that said, they've disappointed so far. Two and four with Russell Wilson and that amount of weapons on offense. Come on. Right now, the New York Jets are four and two, sitting in second place in the AFC East. In front of them, they got the five and one Buffalo Bills. Right, coming off a great, great win against the Chiefs, a uh, huge win. I mean, it, it's crazy what Buffalo is doing without guys like Trey White, and Micah Hyde. Uh, unfortunately, though, they did win. We also have to look at the New England Patriots sitting in last place. They beat down the Cleveland Browns in Cleveland with uh, Bailey Zappi, another mid-round late uh, pick rookie quarterback. Um, they're down to their third string guy, too, because Brian Hoyer was Mac Jones backup. So, you know, we have to look at New England as a serious threat, although they are in last place you know, place in the, in the AFC East right now. I'm not writing them off by no means. It's a 500 football team. Belichick has that defense playing really, really, really good. And then the Dolphins, kind of a tough team to read right now. They got off to a hot start. They had some crazy comebacks, but with Tua hurt, Bridgewater hurt, and now uh, Skylar Thompson hurt and Bridgewater being, you know, elevated back into the starting lineup. They're just a tough team to read. They dropped uh, their game against the Vikings yesterday. By the way, the Vikings are doing great, great things at five and one. Crazy start. Uh, given how the Packers, I mean, if the Packers play like that, is off topic, but if the Packers play like how they did against the Jets, they're not going to win that division. And it's going to be Minnesota's, right? It's crazy. Um, but look, all in all, the AFC East, it's wide open. All four teams, um, I, I feel like are, I, I do think the Buffalo Bills are 
they're the best team. I, I think a lot of people can just say, yeah, Buffalo's the best team. But when it comes to Miami, New England, and the Jets, they're all kind of hovering in the same area. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if, um, you know, the AFC East layout at the end of the season looks a lot different than the preseason expectations or the uh, preseason uh, predictions, if you will. We take a look at the Jets schedule for the rest of the season. Next week, 405 kickoff in Denver. Big, big game there. Then you're back home taking on the Patriots. Okay, another massive game. You're remaining at MetLife Stadium another week to take on the Buffalo Bills. Then we got the bye week. After that, they go to Foxborough to take on the Patriots. And I really think that cluster of games is really going to make or break this Jets, uh, you know, really the playoff chances, because if the Jets win, I want to say two of those games. I mean, I feel like it's almost uh, almost a lock to make the playoffs at that point. But then again, if the Jets get swept, it's going to be really difficult to try to bounce back. But after that Patriots game, the Bears are coming to town. Definitely winnable. The Jets go to Minnesota the following week. Uh, let's see, first week in December. Going to be a tough game, especially if Minnesota continues to play like this. Jets go to Buffalo. Obviously, a super tough game. Detroit after that. Jets home game. Jets home game against the Jaguars on Thursday Night Football. So that should be pretty cool. Jets at Seahawks. Jets at Dolphins. Okay, so if the Jets look like how they did yesterday against Green Bay and how they did against Pittsburgh, there's a really good chance this team can make the playoffs. I believe that. I mean, there's winnable games on that schedule. The Lions, the Bears. I mean, we'll see what happens within, uh, you know, within the division here. But man, winnable games. If the Jets look like how they did against Green Bay and Pittsburgh, right? If they could go to Lambeau, they could go to Pittsburgh, they could go to Cleveland and walk away victorious, walk away with W's, and they're not even playing their best football. I feel really good about the Jets chances. Okay, so I'll leave it there. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. It's definitely going to be somewhat of a controversial topic, right? I mean, because we, we all know how people view this team, uh, the same old Jets saying and everything like that. But uh, yeah, it should be really interesting. Thanks so much for watching. Congrats on the win, man. I, I hope you guys are feeling as good as me. Um, totally awesome stuff. Totally awesome. Let me know your thoughts. And as always, go Jets.